Hi, I'm Todd Baginski. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the catalog to accelerate development in the Power Platform. I'm going to demonstrate two scenarios. The first one is a greenfield scenario where I start and develop a brand new Power App and the catalog helps me do that. The second one is a scenario where I need to update or enhance that Power App down the road. Okay, to get started, the first thing that I'm going to demonstrate is Contoso has developed three solutions to help their developers ramp up quickly when developing Power Platform solutions. These three solutions look like this. The first one is the base data schema, which has several tables and other things that support Contoso solutions in Dataverse. The second one is the Canvas app template, which makers can use to get a head start on the branding and layout for a Canvas app they build for Contoso. The third one is a solution that contains a collection of PCF controls that can also be used to quickly build Power Apps. I'd like to show you the Canvas app template here that I'll be using in this demonstration. I've already opened it in this tab. As you can see, I have a few different screens inside of it, and it's essentially a stubbed out app that has a nice navigation and some various controls that may be used in common use case scenarios within Power Apps. I'm now going to use this particular app and build out a travel request approval Power App. So how do I acquire this app so I can start building on top of it and make my travel request app? The first thing I do is I go and I take a look in the catalog. And here is what the catalog looks like. I can see inside of the catalog as a developer that there are several solutions available for me. And notice here is that Contoso Canvas app template solution that has been published to the catalog. I'm going to take note of the catalog item ID right here because that's what I'm going to use to deploy it to my development environment. Here's the pack CLI command I use to actually deploy it to my environment. Pack catalog install. Notice the catalog item ID parameter is equal to that GUID that I was looking at back in the catalog user interface. The target URL specifies which environment I would like to deploy this to. Okay, so now I've finished developing my travel request app. As you can see, it definitely came from the template, although I've enhanced it and changed some colors in it. My app is fully featured and goes and gets real data and filters it appropriately. And I even have a Power BI report built in that rolls up the data, not just for my travel requests, but for others all throughout the company. As you can imagine, there's probably many things that support this particular solution. Here are the different solutions that I created that contain all of the different components that build my travel request system. As you can see, I have connection references, my data schema, environment variables, flows, the Power App, which I just showed you, reports, and even the ability to put in some sample data. If I open the Power App solution, here you can see the travel request tablet, which is this one right here. Now that the application is complete, I'd like to take all the solutions and put them inside of the catalog. Here are the commands that I would use to do that. In this case, we use pack catalog submit. Then I pass in the path to a JSON file that describes the particular item I'm putting into the catalog, and I also pass in the solution-zip argument, which actually is the zip file that contains my solution. As you can see, I ran this command several different times. Now we can see all of the solutions have been successfully added to the catalog. Notice I've sorted it by the name, so we can see all the different travel request app solutions now inside of the catalog. Let's pretend some amount of time has gone by. We could even pretend that the person who originally developed the app has also left the company. But that's not a problem, because we can use the catalog to restore everything we need to our environment so we can pick it right up where we need uh, to develop it. So as you can see here, I have the test catalog environment. And the only thing that's been deployed to this environment so far is the Canvas app template and the PCF copy to clipboard solution. 
Both of these you can see back here inside of the catalog. What I'm going to do now is run more pack CLI commands to install all these travel request solutions inside of the test catalog environment. Then I'll be able to develop and enhance the application again. So here's the pack CLI commands that I run to install the solutions in my test catalog environment. It's pack catalog install and then again the catalog item ID and so I ran this command multiple times with a different ID for each of the solutions I deployed to the target URL which is my test catalog environment. After all the commands are run we can now see that all of the solutions are available inside of my test catalog environment. Now I'm able to continue development on this application even if I wasn't the initial one who developed it, or no matter how much time went by. As we can see, if I open up the Travel Request Power App solution, indeed, the Travel Request Power App is there. And I've already opened it up in this tab, as you can see. This allows me to easily dive into the app and start enhancing it to meet future requirements. All right, let's enhance the app now. Since I have some data here about the city, I think I'll add a map. We'll come down in here and go to the media section and add the map. And this will allow us to plot whichever one the current user selects in the map so we can see where was that expense taking place. So I'll get this guy lined up. And then the name of this gallery right here is the GLR Request Gallery. So I'm going to use its selected item to populate the map. And then I'm also going to go in and I'm going to modify two different properties here in the back end so that I can point to the latitude and the longitude columns inside of my data source. So here's my item latitudes. They come from the latitude column and item longitudes come from the longitude column. And both of those are actually in my data source under the hood. And so now, as you can see, as I play my app, and I go from one place to another. There's Cincinnati, New York City, Palm Springs, and Seattle. So now I'm ready to take this app and push it back into the catalog so it can be used by someone else in the future. To put the newer version in the catalog, I need to do two things. The first thing I need to do is I need to export this particular solution. After I close the Power App, then I can come back to the solution here. And this is my Travel Request Power App solution right here. So I'll go ahead and export it. And then after it's exported, I will show you how I use the command line to push it back up into the catalog. Now I've exported the Travel Request Power App. I placed that file right here on my file system. You can see I have version 1003 now that I'm going to upload to the catalog. Here's the command I use to push the item into the catalog. You can see it's pack catalog submit. Then I specify the path to the JSON file that describes this submission. And then I also use the minus minus solution dash zip argument to specify the path to the actual solution zip file that I just exported. Here you can see it. So now that that operation is complete, I can go over and look in the catalog. And inside of the catalog, here is the Travel Request Power App. And I have refreshed the page. And we can see that the new version of this 1003 is now available inside of the catalog. This makes it very easy in the future to get this app out again and either deploy it for production use or so you can modify it again. As we've seen in this video, the catalog really helps accelerate both greenfield and enhancement scenarios for developers. The catalog for Power Platform is an outstanding way to move applications and the solutions that contain them from environment to environment. However, I don't consider it an all-inclusive and encompassing uh, ALM option for the Power Platform. One of the main reasons is it doesn't really provide a way for granular source control. 
There are other options, however, that give you more power uh, to do such things. I suggest you watch this video that you see here on the screen that I created called Power Platform ALM Options. I created this video before the catalog for Power Platform was released. This video walks through many different approaches you can take for ALM and helps you choose the one that's best for you. Most likely, you'll land in a hybrid scenario I could see that could combine one of the options you see here with the catalog for Power Platform. Thanks for watching the video. If you need any help with ALM, please reach out. You can reach me at the link in the description. Have a great day.